Hey guys, so for this drawing, uh, again, I'm going to be using a circled bottom uh, object. I have this clear container here. It's going to be helpful for making my perfect circles. Again, uh, you want to make sure that you don't get too bumpy on that. Once you have your first one, you got to line it up with the other one so that it looks like your bike is going on a flat surface. If you have it so that your tires are going uphill, it'll look like you're popping a wheelie. So after that, you have to find the centers of those two circles, and those are what are called your hubs, H-U-B hub and now I'm going to move on to marker um, so that you can see it. Okay. I like to start my drawings with pencil because then I can erase if I do make a mistake. Okay at this point I'm going back to pencil. I'm going to find uh, a couple triangles now. There's one triangle here that starts like that and goes to somewhere in between. You're going to put a circle at the end of that triangle or at the end of that line. Then you're going to go up and stop and up and stop. Something like that. So you have a triangle that lives in there. Now I'm going to make that have um, a double thick line so I can color. Okay. The other triangle that you'll find follows this same line except it heads towards the front of the bike. So again, you want to make that a double thick line. So you have room for color. And now there's the part of the bike called the fork. And the fork goes down. It's just a straight line that goes down from the triangle. And you want to, again, make it a double thick line. It's starting to look like a bike, except it doesn't have a seat. Um, so the seat is sort of like the letter T. And the steering is done with something called handlebars, and those kind of come up and curve. So those usually have a little grippy thing at the end for you to hold on to. And I'll just draw that with a line. Okay, the bike seat sits on what's called the bike seat post, and that post is just a rectangle. And the seat itself, depending on how soft you make your seat, might be a little bit curved at the top. It's flat at the bottom. Now, as far as uh, making your bike look like it has tires, you just double click the lines. And if you would like to uh, give your bicycle um, <clears throat> color to the wheels, you can do that. Most bikes have black wheels, but you can give it any color you want. Make it look neat. Pink wheels would be pretty cool. I've never seen a bike with pink wheels. Now, something right here that lives in this section of the bike is called pedals. The pedals look like this. They go down to this thing, which is this little circle here. That's called the crank. And the crank helps to power the bike. It's sort of like the motor. Your legs are powering this to go forward. And then there's something called a chain. It goes from the crank to the rear hub. And then pretty soon, it's starting to look like a bike. If you wanted to put a person on this, I would start with their head and work your way down to where they're sitting and then figure out how their knees would connect to the feet. 
on angle with the pedals. Also, if their head is here and their shoulders is here or shoulders are here, then they have to have arms that connect to the handlebars. So that's a pretty quick how-to on drawing a bike. If you uh, do draw one, let me see it. Bring it in. I'd love to check out your work. Okay, see you at school.